Hey everyone, Caleb with Antique Book Collective, and today I'm getting to you guys and answering a question that you might not have asked, but might be very valuable for your business, and that is, do buyers always want a deal? And the answer is no. Buyers don't actually want a good deal sometimes, and oftentimes actually, they just want convenience, and you can profit on that. So why do I say that? So I have a case study that I actually have conducted this year as like the ultimate case study to be sure if this is really a thing. And that was, I bought a boatload of books. So I bought hardcover books and I bought mass market paperbacks just to get like a good feel for that sort of thing. And I did these things as unsorted. So it's unsorted mystery, romance, science fiction, thriller, mixed of all those things. And I also bought for the hard covers. I bought all these books from these particular authors but I mix them all together so you don't get just books from one series. You get books from all these different series. You get their standalones, all these sorts of things. And I put them up on eBay. And I put them up for a very, very, very good deal. So normally you pay like 15 bucks for one of these books. And I was being like, hey, you can buy 10 of them for 10 bucks. Or 5 of them for 10 bucks. You know, something like that. Where it's just like a crazy deal. And I sold a few. I sold almost none, honestly, guys. Like, for how many I bought... The number of sales was minuscule. And that's where the interesting thing comes in because as the end part of this case study, I took those same books, took them off of eBay, uploaded them again, now separated into the series, into the genre, into the this, 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 and sales spiked. I sold out those things lickety split because guys, that's what people are looking for. When you are buying a book, like let's say you read a book from uh, C.S. Lewis, you read The Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe. Are you going to look up for C.S. Lewis books? Or are you going to look up Lion, Witch, in the Wardrobe, Narnia series, you know? Are you going to look up that or just random books from C.S. Lewis? You can buy the random books and you'll get Mere Christianity. You'll get Till We Have Faces. You'll get all these random ones. And you're like, I just want Narnia book too. You know, that's a, the sort of thing. And if you guys think about it from that standpoint, it's like, oh, that makes sense. People don't just want to deal. They want the convenience. They want exactly what they're looking for. And for me, the book series that I sold, I actually was missing, say, book five and seven, where I had like two of them and then like skip a few, two of them, that sort of thing. But at the end of the day, if someone's buying the series, they'll see that and they're like, ooh, I get to buy these books for a whole lot less, get a good deal, and it makes out in the long run for me. And even if someone already has one of those books, they can buy the rest of the series and still come out on top and spend less money. And that is where the convenience and the good deal sort of mesh together. And at the end of the day, though, they wouldn't have bought the books if it was just random books. It wasn't going to be like, oh, I might get a couple from this series, a couple from this series. Whereas what they really needed was all the books from this one series, you know. So if you guys are able to find a bunch of books like that and you are able to parse them out by series, by genre, by that sort of stuff, you will most likely get a whole lot more sales than if you just bundled them all together. And in addition to that, more importantly for us as business people, you'll be able to command a premium for those books. So for me, once I put those books into series lots or sets or however I worded it, I was able to more than double my price for these books and yeah i could have kept them at the same price and sold them right away but even at the doubled price they still sold insanely fast and i was able to profit a whole lot more money because my profit sorry my uh, cost to myself for the books themselves did not increase the only thing that cost me was the increase in time to list these things separately which is something that's pretty cool to keep in mind uh and for you guys again as business people it could be something to fiddle around with uh for running your own numbers so with that said and done though guys i hope that I was able to help you guys i thought it was really interesting to run this study over this past year and honestly guys like i had these books listed for months and months and months and months and months as just the random lots and i didn't sell many but as soon as i put them into uh, like organized sets and lots, all of a sudden they were selling left and right. So because of that, I've sold, I'd say half of the ones that I've done it for already. So that's pretty stinking good return for me on my time, on my money, that sort of stuff, because otherwise I would have kept on sitting on them forever and ever. So again, with that said and done though, guys, I hope that was helpful. Be sure to subscribe, be sure to check out one of my other videos and I'll see you in the next one.